The following video was shared by Aphidus, a young man who was out one evening to investigate the story of an abandoned and also apparently haunted asylum located in Broby, Sweden. Many people have found their end in there. It is said that several ghosts still roam this old building and the young man went out to see if this was actually the case. After this blood curdling scream, the young man filming seems to be capturing a shadow person that can briefly be seen escaping through the door. Could that be possible? Did they capture something from a different time? Or was this just a trick of the eye? Even if so, where did that creepy scream come from? Who can say? The following video was uploaded by user GoogleMeBe. He pulled his footage from the security camera in his backyard while he was just scrolling through the video feed. He noticed this strange motion event that caught his attention and he's never seen anything like it before. On any of his security cameras, he has no reasonable explanation for what he's captured here. On the right side of the screen, in the backyard, a strange orb-like shape is seen, floating towards the dark corner of the yard. The white orb seems to change shapes, shifting into what almost looks like a person walking, and then suddenly disappears. Even more interesting, it seems that somehow, the spirit actually activates the motion lights in the user's backyard before disappearing. There's definitely something eerie about this footage. What could this possibly be? The following was captured in an over 100 years old plaza resort in which a lot of spooky things have been captured over the past decades. This particular night, security staff was alerted by something unusual that was captured by the security camera of their downstairs bar, which was closed and empty at the time. They noticed a strange looking shape, which seems to be switching sizes and was morphing. As one of their officers goes downstairs to check, this thing just vanished, and the officer swears that he couldn't see anything, but noticed a suspicious cold draft behind the bar area. The guy upstairs was telling him, go behind the bar, it's behind the bar, go behind. So he started to go behind the bar, and he said, no way, and he got out of here. You know, I've had doors held, like you're pulling on a door, and the door's not locked. You walk in and there's nobody in there. So, was it maybe a visitor from the afterlife? The following is an interesting clip that has been uploaded by StayRB to the paranormal section of Reddit. The user states that he grew up around his grandparents, who were the owners of a local pub. People always said that this pub was haunted, and some even stated that they saw ghosts in there themselves. Today, RB is sharing a short clip that he could get from the camera of the place. He states, This is a small clip I have on my phone from the pub's camera. It's showing the man who used to follow me in my grandparents' pub. My grandma always said the pub was haunted, so I'm going with ghost. No one else would have been there at the time, in the morning. We can see somebody peeking around the corner here, pretty creepy to be honest. His family does believe that this was indeed a paranormal encounter. Of course, there's no proof for this claim, maybe it was just a creepy guy. But why would anybody do this, if it wasn't a staged incident of course? Who can say? This 
video comes from Reddit user Flickscreen. He caught this footage late one night with a security camera outside his house that monitors his vehicles. He claims that there have actually been strange occurrences regarding this truck before, including the tailgate opening on its own one day, for really no reason at all. He also has a running joke that the truck is haunted or cursed, although he says he's not sure if these are just jokes anymore. Let's see what happened. The footage clearly shows the driver's side door of Flick's truck opening on its own, which is creepy enough. However, viewers noticed that there appears to be some sort of apparition directly next to the door. It's important to note that the uploader also specified that this never happened to this door before and mechanically there's really no reason for this to occur. A strange shadow can clearly be seen drifting towards the truck and evaporates only moments before the door opens. Is this a spirit caught on camera? Maybe the entity messing with the truck of his. A very interesting capture and I'd love to hear your thoughts. I want to take a look at some updates from user Dude My House Is Haunted. The couple has been living in a haunted house for quite some time, until this June. They were forced to leave their home after all the paranormal activity got a bit too much and dangerous for them. The uploader always said that he was never sharing these encounters for clout, but to seek help. Apparently the activity got worse and worse the more he was sharing these encounters on the internet. For whatever reason, the woman got attacked multiple times in this house, wanting her never to return to this place. They currently only return to move all of their belongings out of the house. The following, however, was one of the last and pretty concerning encounters the couple was facing at the time. This was one of the most frightening experiences for the couple, resulting in an injury. Shortly before that, a strange shadow might have shown itself in the office of the uploader as well. After moving into his son's house, the man is sharing another video after receiving a ring notification from his old house that is still hooked up to the security system. Hey everyone, uh, I just want to let everyone know that Eb and I are okay. Um, we're staying at my son's house. We've been there for weeks now. Um, I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to stay there, but uh, I was going to go to tomorrow to the house to pick up so some stuff that we desperately need. and. Uh, I get this weird ring notification and um, uh, I'm at a loss for words. What do you think is going on in this house? Certainly something malevolent, no doubt about it. This is really one of the more creepy cases we have heard of lately, isn't it?
Jody Jam is working night shift in another pretty old hotel and states that tonight she was hearing pretty eerie voices from the hotel's basement and then even noticed the heavy fire door opening on its own. Which basically is impossible and therefore she started recording. Somebody's playing a joke on me. A search of the basement revealed nothing, which makes many believe that we might have witnessed a paranormal encounter here. Was it a spirit yelling for help? Some commenters believe that this is the case. And who knows what exactly lingers in these old walls of this antiquated hotel. to take a look at a clip from Corey Scherer and he's talking about an investigation that took place and nothing really crazy was captured at the time. Only after cleaning up some of their team members might have caught something really fascinating. Let's take a look. The investigation was over. Everybody was packing up to leave. It was three something in the morning I believe mm -hmm. and uh, I no. Yeah, it was 3 something in the morning and one of the guys was cleaning up downstairs in the basement. Yeah. And he said that he got pushed down the stairs. And I was like, what? So I grab my camera, I run down the basement, and then uh, this happened. 3.51 a.m. We were just down here 30 minutes ago investigating. What was that? Okay, guys, did you see it? If you didn't see it, we're going to roll the clip again. We're going to talk. I certainly saw that. Was there a shred of figure standing? Underneath it, we're just gonna kind of play it slow mo with like no noise. Yeah. So guys, pretty much, I walked into this room That's... by myself, and this is also the same room where I saw, <laughs> as weird as it sounds, like the first time I we went to know as I saw hands, like coming out of the walls with mm -hmm. stairs. Hands. This is that same. room. Look, there's somebody standing. It's a little bit see-through too. Like, what is that? Wow. And I walked it's in there. It's hard to make out. And you know, I was just you know trying to see if I can catch anything because he said that he got pushed down the stairs, and I heard like a box getting kicked and scooting like across the floor. Mm -hmm. So it made me jump. And as you see in the freeze frame right now, the demon is right there, and we didn't even know it was there until we watched the video it's really hard though to exactly say what we are seeing i mean it looks it looks a bit humanoid but they say it is a demon so also considering that they saw hands could this be the apparition of a demon i mean let me know what you guys see here it certainly looks really strange and interesting and not normal i don't think this was a regular person but we knew that but it wasn't until we were like, hey, look, it looks like there's something in that, in that blur. That's really you know? hard to yeah. say. And Ghosts of Mississippi were out on a paranormal investigation, and they like to share their own experiences on their YouTube channel. In the following video, they believe to have captured a shadow outside the doors. As they are investigating an old church, 
and trying to contact the other side via a ghost box and other equipment. They received the first couple of responses. Oh, you just, you just had an oil come up to you, like slow floating. It was coming to check you out. Of course, they made sure to be alone that day when starting the investigation. But when they place a second camcorder, it seems to pick up a figure moving in the hallway behind the locked doors. Is it of paranormal nature? It's at least a really interesting capture. This TikTok was recorded by a user with the name of Do Not Go In There. He's staying with his grandparents that night and agrees to go downstairs into the basement to find some canned goods for his grandma who is cooking dinner. The basement appears to have several rooms and it feels that the young man almost gets lost between many boxes and storage containers. Besides many dust particles, he also comes across some eerie dolls and figurines. In one of the rooms, there seems to be an unidentified liquid which has been spilled on the floor. Then finally, he obtains the pickled goods. Okay, found him. At this moment, an elderly man, supposedly his grandfather, can be seen in the doorway with what appears to be a hammer. It's unclear what happened afterwards since the TikTok ended, but I find it's really unsettling. Now we are looking at a clip from El Kukui TV. This clip was caught on home security camera. A grandmother was looking after her grandson overnight. After she had put him to sleep and was in bed herself, she heard some noises coming from the living room and realized her grandson had gotten up and was playing. The strange thing though was that it sounded as though the child was playing and talking with another person. When she got up, she asked the boy who he was talking to and he responded, my friend. Even though nobody else was in the house, the grandmother just assumed the child was talking about an imaginary friend and didn't think much more about it. However, the parents checked the security footage the next day and they were shocked at what they saw. Twice in the video we can see what looks like a small shadow figure around the same size as the boy himself. When the child leaves the bedroom, we see him look back at the shadow as it follows him. Clearly the boy is able to see the creature as well. Then we see the entity enter back into the bedroom as the boy follows quickly behind him. It is interesting that this spirit seems to be both physically the size of a small child and friendly with the human boy. Is it possible this is the spirit of a kid that has passed on? 
Some commenters also speculated that this could be a doppelganger of the boy. What do you believe? This clip was posted to the paranormal section of Reddit by HDGun. It was captured by the security camera of a co-worker outside their home. The uploader states that the family was experiencing paranormal activity before in this house. Mostly, however, limited to really strange noises that could be heard inside as well as outside the house. They have seen some odd shadows as well, but were never able to capture anything on camera. Then they saw the following. They try to explain it off by it simply being a strange reflection perhaps, but still, they feel that something is just not right with this video. Could it be that they captured a spirit in bright daylight? Or what exactly could this be? An animal? A bug perhaps? Or was it a ghost after all? Another video from a young man who also describes that he was hearing a lot of creepy noises coming from his very own basement. Many times he had recorded, however was never lucky to capture anything. I heard some noises again. Hello? Is this a pair of ghostly legs walking through the screen here? Unfortunately, it is not known what happened after. This video was recorded by a young man who came across something terrifying in the crawl space under his very own house. He started hearing some really odd noises stemming from underneath his home, and this night was no exception. As he was standing in the kitchen, he started the recording. He was initially listening to some weird banging noises, and at first he thought it to be an animal. What was really weird were a few items that were totally misplaced, and it was certain that it wasn't him nor his girlfriend who had moved these things. Ah! 
thought it was a stranger who had broken into his crawl space and then later it was revealed that it was his girlfriend's ex-boyfriend who was extremely possessive and stalked both of them and that this crawl space action was no single occurrence. They later got the police involved to take care of that matter. A creepy case I find. Now we want to take another look at TikTok user Face the Light, who documented the haunting at her former family home that involved a shadow man that had terrorized her for a good while. Now it seems that she has moved and things have gotten a bit more quiet until the day where she started this particular TikTok again. Maybe when I'm done with it, I can send you this. Um, On another TikTok, she continues a room tour on which she talks about the amazing items that she could gather for her new place. Now, let's see. I just wanted to show you my room. This is the bedding I got. This is the duvet that I grabbed from the house. Um, there's all my books that I could not fit on that shelf. You probably saw in the last video, some really weird stuff has been happening around here. Like, I keep hearing big random noises. I don't want to freak you out. I mean, I'm not that worried about it. I mean, it's kind of freaky. But anyways, on a lighter note... And here the apartment tour continues, and she is aware that these events seem to transpire more and more. Who knows, maybe the thing that was haunting her has moved to the new place with her. And it takes all a pretty dark turn when indeed what other viewers describe as the shadow man is making a return and freaks the living bejeebies out of her. Pretty much looks like the same figure, doesn't it? The shadow man just stands in front of the window for a while, peeking in and staring at her. Then it appears that he makes it into the house for some reason, and this is where Face the Light takes the last couple of recordings of this terrifying being. Isn't that terrifying? 